Hey, it's Scotty. I just got an email question about bedding. And uh, if you check out the cage setup section of my free guinea pig care guide on my website or the cage setup playlist here on YouTube, I've got a lot of videos talking about bedding, specifically which type of bedding you should choose. Should you choose uh, wood shavings? Generally, we recommend either kiln, dried, pine, or aspen. Of course, cedar is never acceptable, the fumes, and for that matter, pine must be kiln dried that uh, eliminates the uh, fumes, the vapors, the oils in there and makes it safer. Kiln is pronounced sometimes as kill, uh, with the N is silent, which is something that I did not know for many, many years, even going to art school, even always enjoying working with clay, even from when I was a kid making those little pinch pots. And they were put in the kiln, and I didn't know that many people pronounce that as kill. Anyways, I digress. The other type of bedding that we recommend, as you can see here, is fleece. Now, it's not just a fleece blanket. These are purposefully made guinea pig pads with two layers of fleece, and in the middle is, <laughs> there goes Pippi, it's a cotton batting, or in some cases those U-Haul pads, some kind of absorbent layer in between the fleece. The fleece is not absorbent, the fleece wicks, and it wicks the moisture, the pee, through it into that absorbent layer. So that those are the two types of bedding that we recommend, wood shavings, or fleece. Now, there are many other types of bedding before I get to this question that I don't really recommend. I don't really recommend those wood pellets. They're just really hard. I don't recommend those disposable plastic puppy pads. Even if they are under uh, a blanket or a towel, I don't recommend towels or anything like that for that matter. It just gets gross. And if you're going to do anything other than wood shavings, you should just step up, invest in the fleece, in purposefully made fleece pads. If you go to the cage setup section, I've got a list of some shops that I like. You can also just search on Etsy. And of course, uh, my favorite fleece pads are the plush piggy fleece pads made by Valerie over at the Southern California Guinea Pig Rescue. Those are some really, really soft fleece. They're oversized, but you know, search and it doesn't hurt to get some homemade ones make some yourself get some professionally made ones and see which ones hold up the best you're going to need a lot of fleece pads it's definitely recommended to have more than one because you want to change them out frequently and you don't want to have to be doing laundry constantly so you put the dirty ones in the basket when you have enough then you do a load anyways i have totally digressed what's the question the question is can you mix bedding? Can you mix pine shavings or wood shavings? Aspen is a really good choice. Can you mix those with fleece? And this question was no more specific than that. And so for me, the answer uh, depends on well, what do you mean by that? So I would just, I'll just explore what these possibilities could be. So first off, can you mix pine and fleece? Well, uh, would you have pine shavings and then put fleece on top? That seems really messy to me. It seems like the, the purpose of the pine is that, well, the purpose of all bedding is that it wicks down. Pine shavings is really good if you have a thick enough layer. You want to have at least three, two to three inches minimum when it's packed down of, of uh, bedding in order for that pea to wick down and for the top to remain mostly dry. And uh, if you put fleece on top, then, then what's the pine shavings doing? Nothing, really. The fleece is then doing all the work, not to mention um, the pine shavings, hay, all that stuff's going to stick to the fleece. And that's the whole point of the, the wood bedding is that you can scoop it out and just toss it. Okay, uh, so what are we talking about? Are we talking about you're taking the fleece and completely covering the pine shavings? That just seems really messy and it's, you're getting the worst of both worlds. Bibi, you're tickling me. You're
<laughs> All right, relax, relax. So, uh, well, maybe you're talking about just taking like a little pee pad um, and putting that under the house. Again, same thing. If you want to spot clean under the house and just replace pine shavings or whatever the wood bedding is there every day or so, you're going to keep that area nice and clean because piggies tend to go where they eat, where they sleep, where they uh, they eat and sleep and poop all in that same area. Um, some piggies, piggies are all different. They got different personalities. Some piggies kind of evenly disperse the poops and, and the pee and some piggies will just go wherever they are. Uh, and it tends to be in that one location. I wouldn't mix it like that. I wouldn't put one over top of the other. I can't imagine a situation where you'd have fleece at the bottom and then put pine shavings on top. Totally seems messy. So then what are we talking about? I guess we're talking about most likely, we're, let's see, we're, we're already six minutes into the video and we're just now getting to probably what the real question is. Um, <laughs> probably what we're talking about is having um, fleece in most of the cage and then a kitchen or a bathroom area and with probably some kind of a divider. Now uh, people have the Midwest cage or a cage like that where it's got that middle divider with the ramp on both sides. Now first of all Midwest way too small to be dividing it up so get that out of there. Um, I could see a situation where maybe you had two Midwests together and in one of them, part of it is divided with pine shavings, and then the other half of the other one has fleece, and then a full other one is fleece. Um, or if you had a CNC cage and you had a two by four, I could see maybe how a one by two, a two so if you had a two by four, uh, a one by two corner, one quarter of it would be pine shavings. The thing about that is, is, uh, it's probably going to get messy. The pine shaving is going to spill over. If you can figure out a way and it works for you, I say try it. But my general impression would be that um, it's going to get messy. What you might consider instead is having some kind of a, a sometimes there's these like step in kind of kitty litter boxes where it's really low and the piggies can kind of come into it. Uh, I would maybe try some pine shavings there and then put a bunch of hay in there because rabbits their litter boxes well it's it's like a wood uh the wood pellets and then people often put a lot of hay in there and that's what the the i'm not a bunny expert but that's generally the bunnies that are bunnies are potty trained and they often will sit in there and do their business and eat hay um if you put a lot of hay in in some kind of a bin for piggies, they're gonna soil a lot of that hay. Piggies spread their hay around in general and they're gonna soil their hay anyway. So of course you wanna change their hay every day. Um, so I don't really think necessarily half and half, let's see, how am I doing on time here? Okay, half and half, try it. Let me know in the description, I'm sure there in the comments, I'm sure there are some people that actually that's what they are doing and is it working for you how have you split up the cage if you are doing half uh, fleece or or a, a section of pine shavings let me know I, I really I'm curious to see what works for you but for me it I just like the way the fleece works so let's talk about why you would want to use fleece over pine now I do I'll put right here I have a video called fleece or pine how much work is it? And that's right here. And then I do also have another video uh, where I'm just talking about what the merits of fleece versus pine are. Look for those in the end card there. I'll have both of those videos there. So why would you want to use fleece instead of wood shavings? Well, I think basically the reason why you would choose one over the other has a lot to do with your lifestyle. I used to say, well, it depends on how many piggies you have, but I've got 24 piggies in the house now. Everyone's on fleece. I am just able to clean each individual cage much faster. Now I do have to clean the cages more frequently. Every day, every two days, I will give the piggies completely new fleece. And at each cage, you might look this cage is like two days clean. This cage I cleaned earlier today. Each cage is sort of um, 
in its cycle of being cleaned. So uh, it's really easy to reach out, uh, pull, pull the fleece out and dump it and swap new fleece in. And I can do multiple cages in a day. Of course, uh, it costs more money to buy all the fleece for all of these cages, but over years and many people have been sending me fleece, especially Connie, thank you so much. She sewed, let's see, I made this one, she made this one back here. There's a number of fleece pads that Connie has sent me and also uh, Valerie at the LA Guinea Pig Rescue, different Valerie from the Valerie that designed the plush piggy fleece, although that Valerie also has sent me the plush piggy fleece. I and, and people are often donating fleece. So if you know somebody who can sew, if you can sew, you can make fleece very cheap or over time you can build a collection of fleece, but it can get pretty expensive if you have this many cages. If you just have one or two cages, it's really a non-issue. In a couple months, you're gonna spend way more on pine shavings than fleece, but it is a cost. But in the long run, you will save a lot more money if you've got your piggies on fleece. Another reason why you might want to use fleece is that it's very soft and especially when you're keeping it very clean every day, every two days, it's, it's, your piggies are going to love it really. I mean, think about you personally. And, and of course, like with everything, I want to treat my piggies like I want to be treated. That's why I give my piggies the same filtered water I drink. Um, we share veggies. Uh, I'm not eating their hay or their piggy pellets. I save that just for them. But when it comes to what I would want to live on, I would much rather live on soft, clean fleece than pine shavings. Uh, but the piggies at the LA Guinea Pig Rescue and my piggies for many years were perfectly happy living on, on wood bedding. So it's not something that is an issue. Really, it's about whatever works best for you, but I think that fleece kept very clean and changed every day. It's just, oh, how nice is that to just lounge around on really soft, clean fleece all day. But let's talk about pine shavings or wood shavings like aspen. What would be the benefit to those? So with wood shavings, you have to, you can clean it less often. Generally with a two by four with about three inches of bedding, you should be able to get away with about a week's worth. Now, maybe after four or five days, if there's two or three piggies living in that, it's going to start to stink. Um, and you're going to know, okay, it's getting to be cage cleaning time. And that was one of the things is in the summertime with the AC on or in the wintertime when all the windows are closed, a room like this full of pine shavings can get pretty ripe. Maybe there's one cage that was just changed a day or two ago, but there are going to be a couple cages, three, four, five days, very close to needing to be changed. And man, your eyes will, your eyes will burn. Uh, so we switched to fleece. Now every cage in here is only one or two days dirty and it's just so much nicer, so much better. But uh, you should be able to get, get away with five, six, seven days uh, with pine shavings and uh, your piggies will be happy that moisture is going to wick down and it's perfectly acceptable to do that. And of course, just like anything, you can spot clean the dirtiest areas, you know, every couple days if you want to, or even every day if you want to, depending on how comfortable you feel, how much time you have. But that is one of the reasons to use wood shavings is that it requires less maintenance. So maybe if you have a really busy schedule and you can only devote one or two days a week to cleaning the pine shavings, the wood shavings might be a better option for you. And also in the short term, it's going to be a lot more affordable, especially if you only have one or two cages, because a big bag of shavings might cost $10, $20, but you should be able to get two, three, maybe four changes out of that bag. And uh, so it's only going to cost you about five to $10 per week to completely change the, uh, the cage. Now, when it comes to fleece, it doesn't cost me anything. All of these fleece pads are paid for. So it really just costs the energy, the water and the detergent that it takes to wash, which is much, much, much cheaper. 
Now let me know, are there any reasons that I missed? If you use pine or if you use aspen or some other wood shaving, let me know in the comments, what are your reasons behind it? Or if you use fleece, uh, what are your favorite things about using fleece? Or especially you guys out there who maybe started using one and switched to another. If I'm especially, especially interested if you used to use fleece and switched to pine or some other wood type bedding, let me know. And if you used cedar, if you use cedar, please uh, stop using cedar because it can cause respiratory illnesses. The uh, fumes are just, it's just not recommended. So kiln dried pine, aspen, those are, sometimes it's a nondescript wood bedding. And if it says dust free, and especially if it says kiln dried pine, then it should be safe. But really you wanna source something that definitely says kiln dried pine or aspen. But sometimes these wood beddings are not very clear. In a pinch, it's probably safe to use if it says dust free. But I wanna know if you've switched from wood shavings to fleece or from fleece to wood shavings, I'd love to hear your reasons. And uh, like I said before, I'm going to put Right here, I'm gonna put the video about fleece or pine, uh, how much work is it? And here I will put the video for uh, what's the difference between uh, fleece or pine, what are the merits of each of those? I go into a little bit more detail. And of course, the cage setup section of my free guinea pig care guide is right here. On behalf of me and this dusty bird BB and the piggies, <laughs> thanks for watching. Oh! <laughs> right on cue. <laughs>